Hello everyone and welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve 15 tutorial. So in this video I want to talk about lower thirds in DaVinci Resolve. But before that let's check uh, the video I have. So as you can see this is a uh, drone footage. This is a video that I downloaded from pixelsvideo.com. And here you go. So now you get the idea. Now, how can we add the lower thirds to the video? Now, adding lower thirds in the Venture Resolve is very easy. You just have to go to Effect Library and you go to Titles, this one right here. And then you scroll down until it says Fusion Titles. And you can see the different options that the Venture Resolve offers by default. So we have 3D lower third flipping tool line. We have um, 3D lower third background, all kinds of lower thirds. So you can just grab one and put it here. It's gonna take a little bit of time to play. And so just to review it, I'm gonna click play. It's taking some time because it is processing that normal. Okay, so you get the idea. Let's try something else. So of course, these are 3D lower thirds. Here we have normal lower thirds right here. Let's try one. You can of course customize these. I was going to zoom in a little bit to my timeline. If I click right here on the text block, I go to Inspector. And then, of course, you can change the text right here. For example, we can put something like Drawn Footage. Or uh, you can change the font, or the size of the text, anything really. Sorry about that. Let's go, okay, I'll leave it like this. We have the colors too, in case you want to change the colors, but I'm going to leave it white. Of course, you can customize these more if you go to the Fusion tab. So right here, for example, in the Fusion tab, you can see the node right here, it says lower thirds. And here on the inspector, you can find all the things that you can customize. You can even customize the line in case, let's say you don't like the green, maybe you want to give it a uh, another color, probably, for example, this one. It's just going to change it. Okay, now we have a pink line with a white text. Okay, so of course we can go ahead and try all of these. You're probably going to find something that you like. And of course, if you want to create your own animation it's feasible, you can of course check my other tutorials on how to make uh, motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. And yep, that was pretty much all. So thank you for watching and see you on the next tutorial.